Hello guys, it's Jonathan and welcome to another decentralized finance tutorial. Today we are going to learn something super super important for the security of your funds or your money of your money and it's how to use PancakeSwap with a ledger, physical hardware wallet, how we can use DeFi apps and in particular PancakeSwap in a secure way and make our funds safe so if you don't know how to do it if you're, you're using metamask or any other trust wallet or you are holding a lot of money it's not recommended to use this kind of uh, browser wallets or wallets that are connected to your computer and to the internet but using a physical device physical wallets so this is what we're going to learn to learn but to, to learn today but before we start make sure to subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification button and if you like this content and if this video helps you consider smashing the like button for the youtube algorithm so hardware wallet why it's so important to use it especially when you are dealing with DeFi apps is because the private key is not being stored in your browser, in your computer. If you're familiar with MetaMask or Trust Wallet or Wallet Connect, all these kind of wallets, they are great and they are amazing. And they are our gateway and our basically application that connects us to the Web 3.0. But actually the private key of your wallet, the key that we, with this key, I have access to all your funds and with this key you can send funds to any other wallet and send transaction and sign transaction is stored on the browser in the memory of the computer which means that every time you are opening your browser and you are sending transactions in your computer the private key is somewhere in the memory of the computer which is not very secure if someone hacks to your computer and someone get access maybe a trojan horse in your computer and get access to your metamask wallet he easily can steal your private key and then steal all your funds from all the blockchain from ethereum from binance merchant polygon all of them because it's all connected to the same wallet and um, so this is why it's uh, super important to use this kind of physical wallets because in ledger for example or trezor in that case we're using ledger the private key of the wallet is stored inside encrypted inside the device itself so even when you connect the device to the computer the if there is a malware running on your computer a, a trojan or a keylogger something on your computer it cannot access the memory of this kind of device and it cannot access and steal your private key that's why it's more secure all right so also if you have you know there are a lot of malicious extensions and metamask is one of the extensions so it's just enough that you have an one malicious extension with your metamask browser extension and this extension maybe can use some kind of exploit to access and steal your private key so that's why it's super recommended to use the ledger and we'll see how easily we can set it up and connect it to the to the packet swap app and use it use packet swap with the ledger device and last last but not least is uh, actually to send transaction using the ledger you will have another layer of security because in order to send transaction you will have to provide first the metamask password and secondly the pin code that you set up when you set up your ledger device so it's another uh, step that makes the hacker's life much harder and it makes your funds much more secure and actually not that hard to set it up and we'll do it right now so basically what we are going to do in order to use PunkSwap with our ledger device we are going to connect our ledger device to the metamask extension and through the metamask extension we are gonna sign transaction with this kind of ledger device the private key is with, within this device and the metamask extension is our web 3.0 gateway and it will help us to connect to binance merchant and to pancake swap decentralized app we have to use both metamask and ledger because the ledger itself does not have the the, the rpc node the access to the blockchain to the web 3.0 functions to the smart contracts but the metamask has it so by combining the ledger with the metamask we're adding another layer of security and at the same time are able to interact with smart contracts with De DeFi and decentralized apps like PancakeSwap. so this is a summary this is an intro of what we're going to do today and i'm already already assuming that you guys have ledger you know how it works you know how to set it up and if you don't know if you don't have a ledger don't worry i'll put a link in the description below where you can buy it it's super cheap it's between 50 to 100 dollars you can order it and it will get to your house very fast with a delivery maybe one week maybe two weeks and then you can have with 50 and 
hundred dollars of investment, you level up your security of your funds, so you don't even need to think twice before you do it because it's super, super important. If you have ten thousand dollars, then more than ten thousand dollars in crypto, you have to use hardware wallets. So follow the link below, click it and buy Ledger and it will get right to your house after one week or two weeks. I use Ledger and it's the best device that I, I know and I, I'm familiar with in this tutorial we're going to use Ledger. So check out the link below. And I'm assuming already if you have, if you don't have Ledger and you need to set up how to set it up, I will make another tutorial how to set it up. But I'm assuming in this tutorial that you already have Ledger, it's set up and you have all the, the setup process is also pretty simple. You just have to provide a pin code, then uh, you get a seed phrase, you're gonna get back it up. Also make sure that you back up your seed phrase, the 24 words in a safe place. Because using the seed phrase, if someone gets the seed phrase, it can use uh, and send transaction on your behalf and steal all your tokens. So this is about set buying Ledger and setting up Ledger and now you already have Ledger. The next thing that you will have to do is to have a Firefox browser with MetaMask installed. Again, if you are not familiar with what is MetaMask, I will put a link in the description below. I have another tutorial on what is MetaMask, how to install it and how to set it up. It's basically a browser extension that connects to, to web 3.0 decentralized apps. It's also a wallet. You can create a wallet using MetaMask, but in that case, we're just gonna use MetaMask to connect our ledger to the decentralized world of the web 3.0 of PancakeSwap, okay? So you already have the MetaMask wallet installed and you already have Binance Smart Chain in your wallet. This is what you can see right now on my screen. So I have Firefox the, uh, browser with MetaMask. It's connected to Binance Smart Chain and it's connected to MetaMask, to, to PancakeSwap. But now I want to connect my ledger to this MetaMask to PancakeSwap. Very important that you will use the Firefox because in the recent versions of Chrome, they removed some kind of feature that supports the hardware wallet, the ledger. So if you are using a newer version of Chrome or Brave browser, it will not work. That's why I recommend you to use Firefox and that's what I'm using. So the first thing that you need to do is to connect the ledger to your computer and that's what I'm going to do right now. So it's a USB. We're going to connect the ledger to the computer. There you go. Now you will have to provide the pin that you have in your ledger in order to unlock it. So I'm providing the pin. It will take a moment. All right, once you provided the pin to your ledger, the next thing you will have to do is download an app, if you don't have it already, an app called Ledger Live. This is basically an app that lets you manage your ledger through the computer. So you can connect the ledger to this kind of app you, I will put a link in the description below uh, to download it. It's super, super easy on the main Ledger website. You have Ledger Live and this is the app that you have to download. After you download it and install it, I will open Ledger Live app. So this is the Ledger Live app. That's how it looks like. And we will go to Manager. Now you go here on the side menu to Manager and you will have to connect and unlock the device. Why it, okay, now it will prompt you basically and, and message on your ledger to allow the device to be connected to the ledger live application. Once it's connected, you will see your firmware, you will see your uh, ledger Nano S, the, the firmware, the capacity, everything, and you will have to install an app called Ethereum because this app will let you interact with Ethereum smart contracts through your ledger and actually Binance Smart Chain is, um, is the same, it uses the same EVM technology, same smart contracts, same uh, blockchain code of Ethereum with some changes after the fork, but it's the same app. You don't need to download the Binance Smart Chain app, but download the Ethereum app, this would be enough. And now the Ethereum app is installed and now you can see right here that I have uh, Ethereum, I have basically all the apps and you're gonna go, this is by the way Ledger Nano S but you can do the same with Ledger Nano X, it's the exact same thing. So I'm gonna go to Ethereum and I'm gonna double click here these two buttons in order to open my Ethereum app. Now once the Ethereum app is opened inside the ledger, I will go back, I can close the ledger live why it's disconnected. Okay, you can close the Ledger Live app and go back to your Firefox. Now on Firefox, you will go to MetaMask right here and click here on the right avatar right here and then an open, a menu will be open and you will click connect hard wallet. 
Now you can connect your ledger, your hard wallet or Trezor to your MetaMask wallet. I'm going to choose Ledger because this is the device that we have right now. Now they ask you to plug in your Ledger wallet and click continue. Now it, the, the browser itself looks for the Ledger device. So it will take a while until it, it will find it. And now it tells you, all right, select an account. It found some accounts. This is a brand new Ledger that I just opened from the box so you can see here that it shows you how much basically how much ether uh, every account your ledger device has multiple accounts and how much ether every account has none of the accounts have ether if you already have some ether on the accounts or, or bnb on your account then you will have to choose the account that has this kind of tokens but if it's a brand new ledger you're just gonna tap the first one it should be enough and click unlock and you're basically choosing the account that you want to use and now you can see actually that my ledger is connected to metamask now the next time that i will open here the metamask app it will let me choose also the ledger so now you have here all the accounts when you click here you have all the accounts on metamask now you can switch between the normal account that was created on your MetaMask browser once you install the MetaMask uh, browser extension and you can choose also the ledger and you can see here there is this kind of a uh, label that says that it's an hardware wallet. Now once the ledger has been selected now I'm connected with the ledger to the extension of MetaMask and to the PancakeSwap application. Now every transaction that you will have to send if it's swapping tokens, staking tokens, unstaking, providing liquidity, etc. You will have to approve it twice. Once on your MetaMask browser and second on your ledger by approving uh, it here and selecting yes. Let's look at an, an example but first I will have to send some tokens to my ledger wallet because it's brand new wallet so you will have to wait a while. I will fast forward it, don't worry. All right, so as you can see guys, I sent some BNB to my ledger wallet and now we have some BNB and we can use them in order to show you how we can send transactions using the ledger. So we're just gonna go to a basic transaction. We're gonna go to the exchange and just approve some spending for our BNB token by the PancakeSwap router smart contract. It will take a while to load, but this is very, very similar to using a normal MetaMask wallet, just with the difference that you will have to approve the transaction through the MetaMask extension and using the ledger. Now we're gonna just try to swap 0.01 BNB to Cake. And ah, I don't need to approve it because it's already um, it's BNB, of course. So I'm gonna let's do a bit less 0.01 BNB just so we have more BNB in the wallet for another examples in the future. Can I do even less? Yeah, let's do it even less. All right, so now we're gonna send transaction for the first time using our ledger device. Take a look how it works. So I'm gonna click here swap. Confirm swap, accept the price. Well, you know what, let's change the slippage to the lowest because it's very low amount. Swap, confirm swap. Now there will be a transaction that will be prompted on your MetaMask. And you can see here that it's sent from the ledger and not from the MetaMask wallet, but from the ledger itself. We're gonna confirm it here. And right after confirming, you will get an error. You see? And why do I have this kind of error? This is because you have to enable on the Ethereum app to allow smart contracts execution. So we're gonna go back. So you have to go back to the menu here and go to settings right here. And on the settings you will have blind signing not enabled. You will have to enable it because by default it will be disabled. So I'm gonna click here, blind signing, blind signing enable. So basically by clicking twice the buttons, you can change it from disable to enable. Now you will be able to send transactions to smart contracts to your ledger device. You have to do this step in order to, do, to send smart contracts. If you don't do it, <coughs> you will not be able to send transactions through the MetaMask extension, through the ledger. So I'm gonna swap again, confirm the swap. Let's refresh the page because it's confused. 
Make sure you are inside the Ethereum app in your ledger or it won't work. So we will wait a while for the BNB transact for the BNB to appear. Let's choose meanwhile cake here. And we'll select some BNB and swap again, confirm swap. And first step, send the transaction to the MetaMask wallet. And now this is the right screen that you're supposed to see in your ledger, review transaction. So it basically shows you a summary of your transaction and then you will have to go here by the button, move it to the end until you see accept and send. Once you see accept and send, you're gonna click the both buttons, the small buttons. And once it's done, you can see that the transaction has been broadcast to the blockchain only after you approved it in your ledger device, which adds another layer of security to your funds, to your usage of DeFi. And this is super, super important. And I hope this guide will allow other people to use ledger and use DeFi in a much more secure way. Just a small note, this kind of settings of allowing smart contracts, you only have to do it once, not every time that you use PancakeSwap, but only once you need to change it on the settings that it will allow the ledger to sign transactions for blind smart contracts. And once you allow it, then the only thing that you have to do is to connect your ledger device to the computer and through MetaMask, you send a transaction and then approve it with your ledger device. And you have to remember that all the time, the private key is not resigned within your browser and within your computer, but on the memory of this kind of small device encrypted in a secure way. So this is a summary of how to, why and how to use hardware wallet ledger device directly with PancakeSwap through MetaMask. I hope this guide was helpful for you and I hope that many, many people will watch it and will secure their funds and, and this is super, super important because we are responsible for our money in crypto on DeFi. We don't trust banks, we don't trust centralized exchanges, but we are responsible for the money. It's very important that we know this kind of stuff to level up our security of the funds. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider smashing the like button for the YouTube algorithm and subscribing to the channel and I will see you in the next guide. Bye-bye.